Hey everybody, my name is ACS10125 and yes I did take a quick two week break from making videos because uh, how drained I was like creatively from making Pokemon Endless Wishes episode 2. That video took a lot out of me but I'm actually pretty satisfied with the final result. I really like that video. I, it's like Pokemon Dark Chronicles episode 14, but uh, like the good parts enhance and the bad parts cut out. Because episode 14 is very long and have a lot of filler, but it's like high po high po parts are really really high. Uh, and Pokemon Endless Wishes like raises the bar even further and just takes out all the stuff that didn't work. So I'm really happy with how that video turned out. But I just needed a break, so I've taken a two week break. I'm back to making videos, and I also got want you click on this video for oh, a new plush it's we get the hair out of the way marini yay um and this plush is part of the new wicked cool toys pokemon plushes i really like their plushes um it's actually gotten me back into pokemon plush collecting more so that now than ever before i'm just buying all these pokemon plushes i really didn't like the tomy style like, the crocheted ones, like, the ones that they released for the 20th anniversary, those were pretty good. Uh, because you know I have the Manaphy, but I also have a Genesect as well, because I gotta get the Genesect. Genesect was a Pokemon of my childhood, so I gotta have that one. But, other than that, I really didn't like their style all too much. But this Wicked Cool Toys Pokemon style, like, I love the, I love the packaging, and I love the way that all these plushies are made, so... This is great. I love this plush. I spent $20 on it. <laughs> and also, I got this plush last weekend. Yeah, this has just been sort of sitting in its box, just on my floor, for the past week. I've been meaning to do this video for the past week, and I just haven't, you know, felt up to it. But now, better now than never. <sighs> so, let's talk about Marini. Now, I, you might know that I might not act that I'm not actually the biggest fan of Pokemon Gen 7 or at least I wasn't when I first played it Nowadays I'm starting to think and not even starting to think I do think that I need to go back play that generation again and uh, See what I missed so that way I can like get a new opinion on it and Marie's head is like really go drooping down there because of the box um, Because yeah, I feel like I didn't really give it a fair shake the first time around, so I've sort of been getting into what Gen 7 is all about, f finding out all about the Pokemon, because I basically kn knew most, of, mostly none of the Pokemon. Like, I knew the starters, I knew some of the legendaries, and I knew some of the, begin the beginning game Pokemon, but other than that, a lot of them were just a pure mystery to me, including Marini, which I was actually introduced to because Mega Boy X made this really cool piece of fan art and I was like whoa that's so cool that's a really cool fake Pokemon you made there and she was like dude it's a Marini and I was like what and she was like a, a Marini and I was like Gesundheit and she was like oh my god you don't know what a Marini is don't you and I was like nope didn't finish gen 7 so yeah I was first alerted to this Pokemon's existence because of that, and ever since then I've just fallen in love with this thing's design, so we're gonna take this thing out of the package, but first we're gonna analyze this package. You got the uh, tag right there, it says a Marini in English, as well as the its name in French and Espanol. It shows its typing, which that's actually pretty neat. Um, it's poison type and water type, which I don't think the poison type graphic looks pretty good. You know, it doesn't really tell you all that much that it's poison outside of being purple. You got your information inside, and you got the stuff right there. See all figures and plush at wickedcooltoys.org. I love this little tag, so I'm gonna rip that off. God, I'm gonna need scissors. Um, at the base here, you can see some the nice Pokemon logo. It says it's for ages two and up, which that's cool. I have to step up from the Tomy plushes, which were like, I don't, I think they actually were like, it has to be like four and up, and I was like, guys, it's just a plush. What is it going to do? How is it going to choke themselves on a meow? We got all the uh, information down there, and on the back, we get this nice little blurb about Marini, where it says, Marini lives at the bottom of the sea or along the beach. It attacks with its head spike, They're right there, and it delivers poison that can weaken a foe. It's often tempted by the brightly colored coral of Corsola. 
so it has a thing against Corsolas, I guess. And we can see the other big plushes in the line, which include Pikachu, Snorlax, Beware, Wobbuffet, and Mimikyu. I've seen most of them. I haven't seen Beware in, in person, but I saw Wobbuffet at the store when I got Marini. This was the only Marini I've ever seen at the store. It was the only one I'd ever seen, and I picked it up immediately because I was like, oh, I know that Pokemon. I need, I need more Gen 7 Pokemon because Gen 7 Pokemon are growing on me fast. So we're gonna get the uh, handy dandy scissors and cut this thing from its bonds. We're just gonna snip, put that in the tag collection because I do collect tags from my plushes. Uh, get the little tab out right there. And this plush, we're just gonna rip it off of its base. Yep, just like that. Just gonna put the base down over there. I'm gonna cut the things later, but yeah. Here's the actual plush of Marini. This thing is very top heavy. Um, you can see the face right there. I think that this Pokemon looks female. If I if I put this character in a show, it's gonna be female, uh, definitely. So you can, you can see it's not the most detailed Pokemon around, but they got a lot of the details really nice. I like the way that they detailed in the uh, like second set of slime right there, I guess. Uh, you know, it's it's not completely accurate because you see it's just a little f plush flap and on the tag you can see right there that's what I'm talking about and it doesn't look it doesn't look perfect but you know it's better it's better effort than they could have done a lot of these are like a little floppy but that means that they're movable and that also means that when you shake the plush oh they stay in pretty well that's actually pretty nice this plush really doesn't have a lot to talk about it's got good stitching on the eyes and the teeth and everything I think his eyes are a little too close together. Now that if I look at the tag, I'm just like, yeah, the eyes are a little too close together, but I think that they did the best with what they were given. Uh, and yeah, this definitely, this thing definitely stood out to me because it was like overflowing from the package as you saw before. And that overflowing out of the package look was really appealing to me in the store. It just, and it, I think it will be really, really appealing to a lot of people and it just sort of screams, hey, I'm a big old, I'm a big old Pokemon plush. Check me out. And of course, nobody had checked poor Marini here out. So I was the one to give it a home because I knew that it was not going to be there at the store. And not, that it was going to be there at the store for a long time. And I just sort of got a flashback to like Toy Story 2 with, you know, with like a, God, I th Stinky Pete with him being like, I was in the store for so many years, and I just sort of looked at Marini, and I saw that on its face, and I was like, oh my god, I gotta take you home, and I gotta give you love. So yeah, that is Marini, a new Pokemon plush to add to the ever-growing collection. Oh my god, it's just so soft. Oh my god. <clears throat> Sorry, that's weird. Uh, so yeah, that was Marini. That was the Marini plush. You say you can look forward to new videos, and also look forward to a certain musical bird that will be arriving soon. Oh yes, this is not the only Pokemon plush that I've gotten. That plush will be coming in the mail. So you'll see me do a review on that video on that Pokemon next time. See ya everybody.